here is an app I created using App Inventor, uh, which is uh, an application for uh, creating apps for Android devices. Um, well, this app basically um, translates speech from one language to another. To use it, you first have to uh, generate a token to access uh, Microsoft Translate API and uh, you choose the output language well let's select Spanish what is your mother's name? ¿Cuál es el nombre de su madre? then I think that's correct now um, let's try something different let's try German where do you live? And that's correct. Um, now let's try. Uh, let's try French. Hmm. Where is the nearest post office? Okay. Now let's try uh, Russian. How much does it cost? And that's correct. Um, well, maybe let's choose something different. Uh, I think that this is Chinese. Huh. Hello. And I know that's correct. Uh, you can also choose the input language. So, uh, well, right now I was using English, but you can also translate from, let's say, uh, well, Polish to German, uh, and so on and so on. Um, to change the input language, uh, you have to change the settings of your phone. Uh, well, the, the language of uh, speech-to-text uh, functionality. Um, well, I, uh, I created the app because I saw um, on Hackaday, uh, a project where someone used Raspberry Pi to well, create basically uh, exactly something functionally the same, so uh, mm, to create a universal translator. But uh, I concluded that uh, well, I could probably uh, create something similar uh, for for a mobile, and it would make more sense because well. Mm, phones already have microphones, speakers and so on and uh, well look more like uh, like uh, uh, the universal translator from uh, from Star Trek movie and well I succeeded um, if you want to just follow the video and I will show you how to use uh, App Inventor to create apps so uh, this is what uh, App Inventor 2 looks like. Uh, it consists of two main parts, the designer and blocks editor. Um, well, the, the difference is that uh, in the past uh, the blocks, blocks editor was a, uh, was a separate application, now it uh, all runs in your browser. Um, well, the designer is for adding new components so for example we have buttons checkboxes labels we can add images sliders uh, we can uh, access camera play sounds use speech recognizer play videos um, use uh, sensors uh, send uh, text messages and uh, make phone calls you can also uh, use Bluetooth and uh, well, acts as a, a web service. So here are uh, components that you can add to your app. For example, I added a button. You can set some properties such as uh, background color. You can uh, change the text. Well, let's say we want to send a text message, so we can.
so we can uh, add a text to a button. Uh, well, um, this is where you add components, and uh, here you have this. Uh, well, what you see is what you get. Uh, editor where you can see uh, what your app will look like, but uh, actually um, to define what your app does, uh, you have to use blocks editor. And here you have some uh, built-in components such as uh, well. Mm, divided into several mm, different categories such as uh, <coughs> math so you can add multiply and so on text which are used for let's say joining two different texts or comparing texts lists uh, colors variables and so on but uh, you also have all the components you added so uh, here we have button for translation and uh, we use this uh, component to specify what happens when you click the button.